Now that the calves have been grazing for a couple of weeks, we have to start thinking about parasite exposure and whether or not those calves need to be treated for parasites. Now, the level of exposure for calves really depends on the type of land that they're grazing. And if they are turned out to land that was grazed by calves in a previous grazing season, then you have to assume that there is a reasonable level of contamination. And those worms, or some of them anyway, will have survived over the winter. So calves are turned out to pasture, and in the current conditions, worms have thrived, so the calves will have picked up those worms. The most straightforward way of testing that really is taking 10 or 15 calves out of the group and taking a pool dunk sample from them. The lab will then do a fecal egg count test and that will tell you whether or not the calves have actually been significantly exposed. If the result doesn't tell you that there's been significant exposure, there's no need to be dosing those calves just yet. Hold off a few more weeks or maybe until they've been turned out to another paddock that you feel might be more heavily contaminated. Another way of monitoring the calves is obviously their performance. And as long as calves are growing at the rate that you were hoping to do based on the feed that's in front of them, so good quality grass, a bit of concentrate, if the calves are performing well, there should be no need to be dosing those calves because the parasites are clearly not having an effect on their performance. If you have access to clean pasture, that's obviously better for young calves. And clean pasture would be reseeded land, land that was cut for zero grazing or for silage. And if the youngest calves are turned out to dose, there's very low chance that they will pick up parasites from that land. The more contaminated the land is, the more you need to pay attention to whether or not parasite treatment is necessary.